Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm wearing the same outfit as the last video. Why? Because I felt like recording two videos in the same day, in the same time. So you know what? Here you go. Same outfit, same energy. Let's go. So this video is going to be about Steph and uh, let's just talk about him in general because his performance level has been ridiculous lately. I saw a tweet yesterday after the game versus the Celtics, which I'll put right over here somewhere. He had 36 threes in the last week. Sounds ridiculous already as it is because he's just the greatest shooter ever. He has more threes than a whole NBA team. Multiple NBA teams, as you can see on this list. That is insane. One singular player has more threes than a whole NBA team in a whole week. Are you kidding me? If that doesn't say he's the greatest shooter ever, then what does? Maybe the fact that he hits these ridiculous shots all the time. I don't know. He shoots everything. He lights out. Like, Steph is just unbelievable. And to be honest, in my opinion, he's the most exciting player to watch. He's electric on the court. People tune in just to watch him. And there are plenty of players who are like that. Obviously, LeBron, Kevin Durant, James Harden, Kyrie, you know, Joel Embiid. There are a lot of players who definitely get people to tune in. So you can debate whether or not you think he's the most exciting player to watch, but he's got to be top three. His ability to shoot threes, the way he can just shoot it with such ease. It's just everyone says Steph effortless, but it really is Steph effortless because honestly, he makes it look so easy. But in reality, if you see me ever try that, it's not happening. I'm not making any of them. It's a zero out of zero for me. I probably can't even get it to the rim at half court, not even lying. I feel like when players get to that superstardom level, they definitely do get appreciation and a lot of you know support and love from a lot of people, obviously, because they're a superstar. But there are also a lot of underappreciation for just how much value he and other superstars add to the game. We've never seen a shooter like this. I know I sound like Stephen A. Smith, but seriously, we haven't. Like, he is just ridiculous. Obviously, when Clay gets back on the court, and if Steph is still playing like this when Clay comes back next year, the league better be on notice. Now, obviously, Steph hitting these shots and going on a crazy tear is not new. We all know he was a unanimous MVP in 2016 when he made 402 threes in a season. And he was 50-40-90 club, and he was just making them from everywhere. And we all remember the OKC game. They had a timeout, decided not to use it. Curry from way downtown, bang! So we all know these moments. We all know Steph has always been doing this. But his recent tear, kind of similar to Julius Randle in the previous video, if you didn't watch that, go watch Julius Randle Most Improved. As soon as you finish this video, actually, you got to finish this video first. Then you go watch that video. So I'm watching you. I just think we need to show Steph, other superstars, more appreciation, more love, because what we're seeing is history, people. And I can't even lie, like I said, Steph is one of my favorite players in the league. So I'm not biased. Maybe I'm a little biased just because he's one of my favorite players to watch. But at the same time, I feel like what I'm saying is facts, though. But I said in a previous video, opinions can't be facts. So I'm contradicting myself. You let me know if you think what I'm saying is facts. At the end of the day, I think Steph has just been ridiculous lately. I just feel like it needed to be mentioned. A video needed to be made because he is just going crazy. He's shooting lights out. Like I said, next year, if Clay is healthy, don't be surprised if the Warriors win a championship or at least get to the finals. You got Steph and Clay the most dynamic backcourt in the league. You got Draymond still there. Wiggins has been playing very, very well this year. He got Wiseman, who will have another year under his belt. He'll definitely be healthy. And I'm sure the Warriors will make some off-season moves that we definitely got to look out for. Also, don't forget they have their own pick in the draft and Minnesota's pick if it falls below top three. So it's looking good for the Warriors and scary for the rest of the league. So there you have it. I just thought I needed to shout out Steph a little. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye.